Hello, how are you? Good. Good morning, Tom Sipis. Here for my cataract surgery with Dr. Modi. Okay. I'll need your photo ID and your insurance card. We're getting the preparation ready for Mr. Sipis to go into the operating room. And we're going to explain that going into the laser room will be the first part of our day. And the laser room is where we're going to do the first part of the cataract which actually creates the, the incision and also breaks the cataract up, which allows Dr. Modi to replace it once we get into the operating room. When that procedure's done, that'll take about five minutes in total. We'll go into the operating room. You'll lie on the table. You'll be draped with a big drape with a circle, which will allow Dr. Modi to work on your eye. And then that, that sterile area is what he's going to be able to, to use to maintain sterility all the way through the case. Okay. The lights will go off. It'll get very dark. You'll feel him touching you, but nothing will be sharp. Nothing will hurt at all. Okay. And then the procedure that he's going to do will take about another maybe 10 to 12 minutes. It's a, a rather simple case, although it's considered major surgery, so we take it very seriously. Sure. And then we replace that lens that, that's now broken with a new lens which is what you have chosen and which Dr. Modi has done the measurements for. And then once the new lens is placed, you'll be sitting up, you'll have some drops, you'll walk to the recovery room, and you'll get your instructions and a cup of coffee, which is the most important part of your day, I'm sure. Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. No. Had we known you were coming, we would have ordered it. <laughs> and that pretty much is the process. Who knew that eyes actually rotate in our head a little bit when we lay down? But they do. So we need to take that into consideration because you are laying down for cataract surgery. So there's Kelly actually writing on Tom's eyes, marking the 180 line. So Dr. Modi knows everything is square when he's ready to start. laser doesn't really move, all right? The laser is kind of immutable. So I'm going to position your head in a way so that you're in perfect position under the laser, all right? So the laser has a soft contact lens at the end of it. That's what docks near the eye. That's what steadies your eye so that the laser can do the job, which is making a perfect round incision in the front of your cataract, softening the cataract, <laughs> making the incisions, and dealing with your astigmatism. So we want the eye parallel to the laser. And there's a soft contact lens at the end of this thing here. And that's what's going to come in contact. So now, first thing is, is we're using a little speculum to hold your eyelids apart. And turn the other Look down. So this, look up. Good. That was a little anesthetic. Now look into the light. Now what you should see is six white lights in a circle. Do you? I do. Alright, so your job is to look right smack in the center of that circle of light. And once this thing gets close, you feel a little bit of pressure, nothing you can't handle. Perfect position, Mr. Cypress. I have the measure of that. Then I look at the actual incision so we can do this thing bladelessly. And then dealing with your astigmatism. Six is good. So I've sent all the data back to the laser. The laser's already begun its course. It's making this perfect round opening in the front of the cataract, something that no human hand could possibly replicate. Ten seconds. Breaking the cataract down up. We're down to seven seconds at this point. Three seconds. Wonderful. Well done. So that was step one of a two step procedure. The laser has laid down tens of thousands of bubbles inside your cornea. So as Miss Judy walks you back into the operating room to complete the process, you're going to find you didn't kill this animal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. The key issue, there are two key issues. One is because you were staring at the microscope light, you're going to see kind of a little pinkish after image mm -hmm. that dissipates over a period of maybe about 20 hours or so. All right. That's totally normal. The surface of the eye is numb. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you keep it open, 
it's going to get scratchy and dry and irritated. All right. So it's very important that give him get him something to eat and have him take a nap. All right. And I want him sleeping. It's usually not an issue for him. Though. Oh really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true for most of us actually. Um, did they get you some artificial tears from my side? I can. Right. I can go get them. You we'll need get a them. bottle of artificial yeah. tears. Mm -hmm. So today, over and I above the prescription, an over and above the prescription drops, and we'll give you those instructions. We'll give you some artificial tears to use. Keep them in the refrigerator. So between the lubrication, the inherent lubrication, and the coolness, it'll soothe the eyes. Good. So if you die, if it feels scratchy, he can put those in ad libs. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. And of course, you've got to wear the shield at night right. for a whole week. No rubbing the eye, no touching the eye. All right. Except to put the drops in. It went absolutely beautifully. Rest up. And oh, I could reduce his astigmatism with the laser. So I really didn't need to put the restore toric lens. Excellent. Know, so, yeah. Okay. So I think, you know, that's good. Good. And Excellent. then the next one. So Absolutely. Sure. Should be back two weeks from well, I'll see you. Okay. We'll we'll intro. talk tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Okay. All right, see you then. My pleasure, sir. E V O T Z So you fluently read twenty twenty in each eye for distance. And now remember we have blended vision here. So we're gonna hold this chart. The chart you know, starts with really small print and then goes to larger print. At what distance can you read the top line on the chart? Right there. Can you read it? In the second century of the Christian era, the empire of the Roman. I'm not going to make you read the rest of that board, but that's the what he read without any issue. Computer-style vision or fonts. Hold that. And at what distance can you hold this out as far as you can and still be able to read either of these paragraphs? Well, I can actually read the top one, Able Treaty of the Restitution of Standards and Prisoners. So what's given, what by doing this blended vision with these multifocal implants, we've been able to give you fine vision so you can see right. at normal reading distance something really small, and yet with the computer, you can see the dashboard, right. you can see the, com you know, the computer, the dashboard, shopping, that kind of stuff. And so essentially we've given you kind of trifocal vision here. All right. I will add that I know you're driving in today that I actually could read the license plates of oncoming vehicles. How about that? How about that? Uh, and as you know, there are two things, uh, three things. You need a good light when you read, right? right? The implants inherently have these little rings in them, so yes. you will notice them in the beginning. Right. The most obsessive compulsive people, uh, compulsive people don't notice them after a while. And the other issue is, is that you want to go through the exercise in the beginning, all right, of holding this close, bringing it out, finding the right distance, and then holding it at that distance. Right. So if you go through that exercise very quickly, your brain will adapt so that when you want to pick something up, you'll just see it at that distance and hold it at that distance. And this is what we call neuroadaptation. Right. All right. But already you're doing marvelous. Well, and the one thing I want to add is, and, and I did mention this the other day, actually doing the radio show, is uh, last Saturday, which was only two days after the last eye surgery, as I drove in in the sunlight, the, the vibrancy of the colors, yes. uh, it's, just amazing. Yeah. I mean, it really was a very the, emotional experience. To The blues uh, and the purples are really yes. quite vivid after surgery. Yes. So.